Okay, guys, I'm here today riding huge honor for me. Guys, Roy is gonna teach us here how to do a passing dash submission trap from the headquarters position. And uh, very cool what he does. Instead of doing what everybody does, he's gonna go to something a little bit more unexpected and hit a Kimura from there. So let's do it, Ray. Okay, so let's have, yeah, let's have your head up there. Now, headquarters position, this is a great position in modern jiu-jitsu. I'm heavy on his uh, instep there. Um, I'm counterbalanced with by pulling here. And very often guys will come up boom, and do an X-pass. Yep. Okay, so that's what people are expecting. So what I really enjoy doing is just concentrating on pushing that knee back. So I'll, I'll push into him a little, he pushes back. I raise my hip up just enough. I like to slide down, throw those hips forward so that I assume this almost mount position. Now, most people, they want to push that knee back to half guard and get control. Of course, we all want a little more control. So, in, I know he's gonna do that. That's kind of the normal pattern. So I come out, slide my hips down, and when he pushes that back with either his hand or his elbow, uh, I bring my leg back in clear space. So now I'm pinning his wrist against the ground. Typically, you come over for Kimura, okay? Sometimes you can get it from right here, rock the guy back, boom, extend. Often they, you know, the bent goes straight. So then I can go into a straight arm lock right there, no problem. Most people are expecting that. A really cool variation that I like to do, this technique is found in many systems also in Aikido, I, instead of doing a monkey grip, I use my thumb to gently wrap around his wrist. So as I start to maybe threaten a Kimura, he will bring this up and then I just keep it going. I keep it going to form an S. In some systems they call it an S lock. Once it's up here, I don't even have to connect this other arm. I just roll that pinky back into ah. his shoulder yeah. and we have a really, really painful wrist lock. Most people do not expect this. So I just, you know, if I try to jam this up there and force it, it never works. He needs to bring the arm up there himself like that, like he's escaping it. Right? So just gently wrap that thumb and middle finger and you, maybe you threaten the, the straight arm lock, he brings it back up, boop, and now we're here in that S lock or Nikyo as they call it. Again, save it. You want to be real soft until the very end. Then roll that pinky ah. back and you have a really oh, nice. Right. It's very interesting because it is a wrist lock, but not a traditional wrist lock that goes over here. It's more like towards sideways. So yeah. It's almost like a... it's kind of a it's kind of spiraling back in. Yeah. People at home can feel that if they put the thumb down and pinky up, wrap your thumb over, and then you you roll it back into you. you got it. Roll it back into you. And you can get a little taste of it. Uh, m most wrist locks are either going out or a compression yep. in, yep. but this is something that people never expect. I agree. One more time. Of course. So we're here, we're in headquarters. Don't do an X pass. Just bring my hips up and over. Everyone wants to push that back. I bring my leg back to clear the space, wrap over for Kimura. I have my thumb wrapped around his wrist, but very, very softly. Uh, as I go to straighten this, he will want to bring this up to his shoulder to escape. And that's exactly ah. what I want. And then we take that S lock or Nikio. No, oh, that's amazing. I, I had seen wrist locks like this, wrist lock like this, but I had never seen wrist lock like this. Yeah, so that, so was, that was from, very interesting. From another position, you can get it like this. And, yeah. and very often they'll, they'll do it from like right yep, yeah, I, here. Yep, yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> no, very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so guys, you guys can see how well uh, Roy articulates when he's teaching. And he has a bunch of instructions for us at bjjfanatics.com. So make sure to check that out. And uh, right, one of my favorites is the blue belt requirement. Yeah. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. that one. And uh, make sure to check that out, guys. Uh, he he teaches really well. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. It's an honor. My honor. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed.
BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster. 